Hi traders, a short recap of my trading session today. I will start with BABA. Now BABA is down 4% and if you take a look at the chart you can see these are one minute candles. You can see that BABA started by coming down rather strong and then bounced and climbed higher. Now when the stock is trying to go higher it will always find some, some kind of resistance at the highs. The highs is always a resistance and as you can see BABA bounced right at the highs. That's why I'm about to short it right over here and I'm going to take double size because my risk reward ratio is extremely good. So I'm going to short 8,000 shares I'm about to click the button now and my stop at that point is right over the highs. So I'm risking approximately one point for BABA it's considered to be uh, rather small. I'm going to fast forward now uh, BABA so you can see what happened. It kept just going sideways, it didn't do much. I was hoping of course that it will continue coming down. Now if you think going long a stock like BABA at the highs you must let it move over the highs because again the high is a resistance always is. Now BABA is getting close again to the highs I'm going to stop the first forward and look at the seller side. You see the sellers are at 47 45 right now 198.45 notice the highs is 198.58 now we're getting again very very close but I'm hoping at that point that what was resistance will continue to be resistance and as you can see it's just a few cents from the high right now and again bouncing well again if you want to go long be very be very very careful in case uh, uh, in case you take a long long stock that is down four percent you're not supposed to do that because if you're going to take the next 100 trade I bet you you're going to have losers more than 50 percent of the time fast forwarding again now this time in five minute candles one minute candles helps me get make the decision to move in but if you really want to understand the stock that you're trading you need to understand it in five minute candles so right now as you can see the second time that uh, Baba bounced from the highs and and this time it's coming down again. Remember stock is down 4% that means it's weak. It's getting very close to my target point. I'm over my one point mark. You can see that I'm like uh, approximately $10,000 in profit, $9,000 taking my partial right now. So that BABA was really a very good trade uh, based on two things. First I understood that there should be resistance over the highs which means my stop could be just two cents over the highs or so. And um, you know second BABA started with a gap down today of 4% some bad news Chinese stocks it's not the only one so it's weak it has normally it should have more sellers than buyers and if you have a very good risk reward then you can go double size because not all trades are created equally some of them you can notice that you, your, your risk reward is a little bit better you can risk a little bit more. Thank you for watching this I'll continue uh, showing you my next trades but if you liked it so far how about giving us a thumb up it helps this channel and really helps more people like you uh, enjoy day trading video and learn a little bit more about day trading now let's take a look at my next trade. My second trade was uh, mRNA now as you can see mRNA is clearly downtrending although starting in, starting in green today rather strong but if you take a look at the daily it's too extended to the upside stock moved up quite a lot um, but I'm more interested to see at the time that mRNA is downtrending what does the market do look at the Nasdaq Nasdaq clearly uptrending S&P kind of uptrending but they're both rather strong and at the same time when the Nasdaq and, uh, and, and the S&P are moving higher clearly mRNA is some, under some kind of a pressure. So there's definitely more sellers than buyers in mRNA. I'm about to short 4,000 shares shorting now and I'm hoping for a continuation. I did know I have some kind of a risk here because it just closed the gap. You see at the point where the stock is coming down and closing the gap that's the point of support. Well I really wanted that trade that's why I took it but um, I was also aware that uh, it could bounce and it bounced quite dearly as you can see here. Now I'm going to move to fast uh, uh, to five minute candles uh, right now as you can see so I can get more idea about uh, the trend of mRNA. So as you can see it just kept downtrending and again the point of closing the gap now under just came under and I'm about to take my partial real soon at the point where I get my uh, my one-to-one -one risk reward ratio. So again waiting for it uh, it took it quite a long time I'm about to click the button as you can see I'm up like $11,000 was at the point 15,000 10,000 clicking the button and getting my partial in mRNA. So it's a very different trade 
between uh, mRNA and, um, and, and what we've seen earlier. You know, uh, BABA was relatively weak. The stock came down 4%. I was expecting it to fail. mRNA, on the other hand, was downtrending. So I, I had to rely on the downtrend of mRNA to continue. And it was downtrending at the point where the market was uptrending. Now, I took the risk uh, at the point of closing the gap. Maybe I should have, maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should only take the, uh, the trade after it came back, back down again, after closing the gap. Well, end result, I'm on the green side. Let's take a look at the result. Well, I do have a good result today. As you can see here, uh, I had four trades today. One of them is uh, BABA and mRNA. And uh, I also had two trades in Billy. The first one was a loser. Second one was a winner. Finished in green territory. A very small winner in Riot. And uh, the end result is, uh, if you include my open trade, just over $20,000. I did trade for two hours today, which is more than my normal. And uh, well, it worked out very nicely. Anyway, traders, uh, I really appreciate for, uh, for you watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumb up. It really helps our channel. And if you do want to subscribe to any of our services, there's plenty of links right here below. You can also subscribe to this channel. There's a button here and click on the notification bell if you want to get uh, any information about my future uploads. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.